Hello world, I'm Mr. Spaceman. As you can see, we are coming back 22 games after the Pohan game with Jong Sung Bin on 33 goals with a 7.7 .7 rating and a player of the match awards. Whilst Danny Choi with 13 assists. We are currently top of the league with 57 points after 23 games and 41 goal difference. So what happened? How did we go from let's play John Buke next and us naturally going to play Suwon. Well, you will find out after the intro. <laughs> right, first of all, two things. I'm wearing the South Korean shirt I finally bought. Thank you, Adam Barfam, for showing it to me. I really appreciate it. And also, yeah, we have played a lot of games in the meanwhile, partially because I had to go on a work trip, but also I just thought this series, since it's about to build a nation, we need to actually, well, do the build a nation aspect of it because it makes sense. And what we're going to do today is we're actually going to play Suwon because I actually wanted to come back for a Jumbig game. I had this whole speech of how like, oh, you know, we said we're going to go back for a Jumbig game, but it's not going to be the one we talked about. It's going to be 60 games in. And yeah. What kept happening? They kept delaying their games. I think the John Buick game was actually going to be right after the Ulsan game or something. I actually don't remember. They had one and then they moved it to here. Then they moved it to here and then they moved it there because a lot of things. They were in the Club World Cup. Now the pitch was waterlogged, which is interesting. So the Jeju pitch was waterlogged. Uh, yeah, that thing happens in Korea. But look at that. A lot of games. We are first. We're somehow first. Look where the Pohang game was. It was all the way here. Now, there's going to be a lot of secrecy around this video because there is a tactic that I'm developing and you may be able to kind of guess on it and what it is, but all the secret stuff of it, I will try not to show because I'm trying to make a video and views are important. No, but I'm trying to develop a tactic and I'm trying to make sure it's nice and pretty and then I can make a nice video about it for you guys to see, but it kind of works and I know there's a lot of games, but I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm just going to show you the big highlights. So first of all, Seoul, 5-0. We are a K-League 2 team that got promoted last year to K-League 1. 5 nil. We destroyed Suwon with this new tactic. Danny Choi with four goals and Jung Sun Bin with one. This was a huge game. We had a lot of high-scoring games. As you can see, again, 3 nil against Gyeongnam. 3-3 against Anyang, which is funny because, you know, they're not the best team. But they actually managed to score three against us. So you can see the problem with this tactic already. But then 5-1 against Anyang. And here the biggest game I've ever done. I destroyed Junbyuk. No, yeah, I destroyed Jung Sung Bin with, I can't even count, five goals. Jung Ki Hyun with one. A lot of these players you may not even recognize because I don't think I covered them last time. But Goulart and Kim Dong Hyuk, 2 6. Yep, that's interesting. Ulsan, we lost 1 3. Incheon, 4 1. Gwangju, Seoul, 3 4 goals. Ulsan, two. like, there's a lot of games that were just crazy. And the last game we played, like, I don't want to even cover all the game, but the last game we played, we beat Ulsan once again, 4-2, Kong Young-woo, Cho hyun -woo, and Jung Sung-bin on the score sheet, and we destroyed Ulsan. We are destroying everyone, and if you take a look at our K-League 2, and I'll actually show the stages, we are scoring a little bit more goals than everyone else, and we're not conceding more goals, like we're the second best. I think, what, Ulsan is this the first one? They have 21 ways, conceded 22 goals. Look at that, 63 goals, 8 against Seoul, 7 against, well, Four against Ulsan, seven against Pohang, seven against Gyeongnam, six against Busan, six against Jombik. Two games. Most of these games were played against twice against each other. That is incredible. Wow. We've had also stupid amount of transfers, which I'll show you. Ins and outs and everything. I honestly do not remember what kind of things I've done. I think I would stop roughly here. So we got Shin Young Gyu. Finally, he joined us. I pretty much bought him two days in. So that was that. Yeah, as you can see, he's here. Chong Hyun Chul joined. Uh, Tashayev, 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 Tashayev. We finally have another person in this position. We have another winger and we have a foreign winger. I bought him because I think he's an interesting player and it was kind of want to rescue him from the Russian league because he's not good enough for Russian league. He's a decent player, good determination, good dribbling, good pace. Yeah, and not some more signings. This <laughs> We signed Han Yang Won, finally. We signed him for 89k. Very, very good. He loves me. I love him. He is going to do a lot of good stuff, but he got a red card in his first day. On his debut. So that was <laughs> stupid. And we got Jaewon. So we actually are stealing good players from Ulsan. And yeah, that's kind of a big catch up. You know, I, I will be missing a lot of things. In terms of outs, we are getting rid of some players. So we had Kim Won Sik leave. We had Anteng Song leave. We are currently in the process of selling Rafael Franca, uh, Kim Song Jun, and Lee Song Young, who is what? 
joining Jeju. I don't remember signing this guy. Did I sign this guy? I must have signed this guy a while back. I honestly do not remember. Why, what, what was I doing? I don't know. I must have signed him a while back. Well, he's going to be joining us, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in the squad. We're going to be playing Suwon, and hopefully we can do well. Also, the World Cup groups have been announced, so that will be something coming up quite soon, potentially in the next episode. And look, remember, if I said we're going to win the league, I will be joining a new squad. So potentially this season is the last season with Jeju. So let's make it a good one and actually win the league because the squad is amazing. You know what? It's fine. You can see my tactic. You can see what it is. I'll be making a video about it later, so stay tuned. But this tactic has done very well for me. So a lot of these players are actually very good. Our squad is actually very young. I'm going to go back to this screen because, as you can see, very, very young squad. Kind of a lot of young players. And as you can see, not many key players that are over 29. So Liang Kao and Yumbun Sang are like the last people that are in that region. But everyone else is very, very young. And I am really, really excited to play with them because... We have a very good back three, pretty much. So Yon so in amazing. He's developing. He's quite beautiful. He will be of a level of Korean national team very, very soon. We so stole Jiwoon, as you remember. A very, very good player. Pretty decent on the ball, actually, if you think about it. Look at passing. Look at that. That's a good passing. 13. Very good vision. 10 for, you know, Korean center back. So that's very good. Shin young Yu is kind of developing. I mean, don't get fooled by the downward arrows. He's very, very good. Good tackling, good marking. Very happy to have signed him. Really happy. Wondo Jay is just still a god. Uh, Kim Ki Wook, who is also developing very well. A lot of good running. A lot of just just very good guy. Tashai on the left. Jun Ki Hyun. The guy improved in his finishing. He's quicker. He's got good natural fitness. He's learning how to pass. He's learning how to see. He scored a lot of goals. He scored five goals and seven assists. That's incredible. I'm actually need to show you all the stuff because I forgot to show you the big stats. And up front are two main guys, Jung Sambin and Tiago Leanko. Who actually Leonko is slowing down, but he's not slowing down. Assists, twelve assists. He is actually supporting. He's supporting. He's the ball carrier, water carrier. I don't know that. Does that make sense? He is that. Jung Sung Bin. He is a god, and a lot of people are interested in him. You can see some foreign teams are interested in him, which is good. John Buk tried to bid for him, and I'm like, no. What are these goals? He has scored fifty-seven goals in fifty games. This man is insane. He actually is even better in K League One than in K League Two. 32 goals, thir 32 goals in 22 appearances. What is this guy? In terms of goals, yeah, Jung Sung Bin is the main guy. But the goals were kind of not spread. So I'm really scared what happens if Jung Sung Bin isn't there. As you can see, Leon Ko, 9 goals. Danny Choi, 8 goals, which is to be fair, pretty good. Jung Ki Hyun, 6. And after that, not many more, which is a problem. But, you know, Jung Sung Bin, fingers crossed, has been injury prone. In terms of assists, Danny Choi, Leon Ko, Kong Yung Woo, Jung Ki Hyun. And Jung Sung Bin as well. Like, everyone is trying to make sure that Jung Sung Bin is firing. And this whole team is built around him. And that's why, mainly, and I'll talk about it in the future videos when I'm actually going to be talking about this tactic. This is why I built this team. You know, I thought, hey, I have very good young center backs. I have decent midfielders. And I have very, very good attacking. So I'm like, how can I have amazing wingers, amazing strikers, and basically ignore the wingbacks? Because wingbacks are just so rare in Korea that it's just insane. Make a formation like this, and I tried to make it look like a spaceship, you know, because I'm Mr. Spaceman, and again, the tactic is going to be coming out in a week or so, maybe a week and a half, I'm going to do this, and I'm also going to try and test it on a different team just to make sure it's actually working, but yeah, this is the team we're going for, this has been a long start to the video, very long-winded start, let's just jump in and hopefully beat Suwon with a resounding score. I hope that's going to be the case. Let's go. Okay, so let's go for the first game since forever, really. Like, we haven't seen you guys for, like I said, 22 games. Hopefully, we can do well. We have developed the players quite heavily, actually. Like, a lot of these players will develop one day to be, you know, North uh, North Korea. To be South Korea. I'm kidding. My Korea is confused. Why are we in the attack? Loenko takes a shot just over the bar. But a lot of these players will have the potential to develop to be South Korean nationals. Because Jung Sun is already national. Yeon So-in is almost there. Ooh, and Shin Young yu almost scores. Wow, but Shin Young yu plays amazingly at the back. We have Won Do Jae and Kim Ki-wook. Beautiful partnership. Like, I'm confused why Won Do Jae is not better right than he is. In real life, he's amazing. And here, he's amazing. But apparently not enough. Kong Young woo and Jun Ki-hyun. Again, another players that are just incredible. Like, I signed him for peanuts. I think, like, uh, at least in Korea, if you find these guys a bit early on, you can sell them for, you know, sign him for 200, 300, whatever, K. But... Uh, we Okay, I thought we always conceded on the corner, but that's fine. If you find them early, you can buy them for quite cheap because now I think when you're looking at 18, 19-year-old players, they are going for that million, two million. But 
I've stolen them from quite a lot of big clubs and I'm a little bit worried that maybe they're not of my level and as the first half was boring, maybe they're not of the best level because why else would they be letting them go? But maybe they just don't trust the youth and Ulsan is finally starting to rebuild in real life, but I guess, yeah, I guess no one's doing as much of a rebuild as I am. And they have a corner, and I'm not good at corners still, but we have a counter. Okay, Jung Sun-bin is bringing the ball away. 33 goals he scored this league. He's still running. Loenko's just like, you, you do whatever you want. Jung Sun-bin, beautiful dribbling. Jung Sun-bin, you be at 30. What? 34 goals. No, this guy's, that, no. That, no, that was, he ran all the way. He picked it up. Literally almost out of box, blew past Lim Young Jae, Jung Sung Bin, and a dink over the top, and I thought that wasn't gonna go in, and it did. Jung Sung Bin, can we find? Like, I honestly want to find out what is his potential ability or what's his current ability, because I swear to God, if he looks beautiful, he looks like a very, very good player. And now they have an attack straight away, and as you know, with full manager, this only would mean that we will concede right now. So let me use the power of uh, magic and see the future and i do lee sun bin will line it up no one's there audrey there we go we can see it straight away do i know this game of course andre scores first ever goal how convenient but interesting uh i wonder who he is because that's a very interesting name let's click on him andre brazilian no, I, I thought he was brazilian but does he have any russian roots no he doesn't but 18 he only played he only came here 18 days ago already scores against the league leaders <laughs> it's weird to say that but we are doing very, very, very well. Like, very well. I'm really happy. I, I honestly think this this is one of the best teams I have developed. And I'm, like I said, if we are going to be winning the league, we're going to be moving. But these guys will have a great future without me. And I will see a lot of them in the national team, which is nice. As long as, you know, they don't get sold or kicked out, which they probably could, judging by how Korean football is. Jung Ki Hyun breaking away with his 17 dribbling. Jung Sun Bin. Lee Hongko and Jung Sun Bin. Oh my god, Lee Hongko with 13 assists and Jung Sun Bin with 35 goals of the season. That's gotta be a that is a rec. That must be a record. That is a I believe that is a record. That's gotta be. Great run by Jung Ki Hyun. Great pass to Lee Hongko. And the guy passes it in. I actually gave him a contract extension. I thought he wasn't worth it, but I pay what? 10k for him a week? Which is a lot of money for K League. Like a very, very big lot of money. But I still thought, hey. This guy's getting me 14, 13 assists a season from striker positions. And that's amazing. And also before, we, we don't really have two young striker options. So maybe it's perfect to have him because Junkie Hyun is playing beautifully as a shadow forward or a shadow striker. Tashayev, he's going to curl it in. Tashayev, what a first goal. What a first goal for the club. Let's go. This is a very young team. I'm going to, at the end of this room, please remind me. And I'm talking to myself or maybe this will be a perfect time. Do actually, please, in editing... Check how the ages are of people. I want to see the average, I guess, average team I have, which is easy, or the average normal people that start. Let's do it like that. Let's go right here. It'll be somewhere here. Please, please don't forget. That looks stupid. Right. It's time for subs. Tashayev has scored and he will go off straight away because he needs a little bit of um, a break. What else are we thinking? Um, apart from that, we're doing very well. Everyone's playing well. Uh, we just need to rest some legs because we are playing soon after this. I think at some point, unless they change something. Choi, is he going to put a good cross in? J1, Park Yi Young, nope. Oh, that's a counter, but Jung Ki Hyun gets there. That's his good acceleration and pace coming to play. Jung Ki Hyun, good cross. Ooh, dribbles past. One. Will he dribble past another? He puts a cross in Kim Yo Song. And this is why you're on the transfer list. Because <laughs> that's, I think that's the way, if I'm not mistaken. He is, um, yeah, the North Korean guy that came in with a lot of promise, but we signed some youngsters ahead of him, and he's really pissed off that we don't play him. Yeah, th that just happens, man. A lot of these youth is just on a different level. Park Hyun Jin, we need to clear it. Oh, we do have the ball. We are countering. Jung Ki Hyun, okay, come on. Okay, wow, that's a lot of people breaking. If we can get a good pass across, we can have a goal. But he's not letting go of it. And if this doesn't turn into a goal, I'll be kind of pissed. Jung Ki Hyun. Crosses it to no one and Lee Dong -so, and we have another chance to attack Lee Dong -so, to Choi, fresh off the bench, Choi, Park Young, and now okay they're gonna counter. No, we're gonna counter. I actually seen a little bit more of that. It's kind of like like ping pong sort of thing, or yeah, ping pong is the right sport. Deloenko, Kim Yu Song, you have another chance to score, buddy. Good save, actually a very good save by Lee Hyun Song. 
Wow, they're going to 4-4-2, and this could be good for us because now we can counter. We will be dominating the midfield. We'll be dominating their back four. Wow, Ju Hyun, you have good finishing, but no good long shots. Actually, funny story, and I don't know how funny it is because you know me, I don't make funny jokes. I actually just saw that, and I'm going to go back to some previous videos because I could have sworn his long shots were amazing. And so I was on the train playing with this guy, and I'm like, oh, this guy's amazing, blah, blah, blah. Let me train him as a complete forward. And then I see his long shots are 5, not 15. So I'm like, was I always confused with heading? And also, look, 15, 15, 15. What, what is this guy? What, what, who made him? What is this? I need to ask some people from, from Korea to tell me who this guy is. Because if he's the next big thing, like, literally, big teams, go check him out right now. This is football manager. So it's kind of realistic. I mean, granted, 35 goals a season and the season's not over yet is stupid. I don't think anyone's going to do that. Junkie Hyun, down the middle. You had some time. So maybe you need to work on his composure. But 3-1 against Suwon. Oh my god, there's still highlights. There is still highlights. It could go both ways. And Choi picks it up. That's good. Don't get isolated. Yo so in. Uh, Yoon so in, actually. There we go. We are getting isolated. Words are difficult. Andre, once again, that looked offside to me. And a beautiful save, actually. Yoon Boon Sung, beautiful save. Bravo, sir. I thought the keeper was coming up. That'd be funny. They have a corner and Yoon Sung picks up. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Oh, you didn't see it. I was pointing at the screen as if you guys would have seen, but there was a man there. And look at that. 3-1. You got to see a nice win. I'm happy. Jung Sung in with a double. Tashayev scoring his first goal for us. This is what I'm talking about. This team is off the charts. It's just so good. I am really happy. Like the youth, the youth, the youth that plays here is incredible. They're actually incredible. Okay, so we are 10 points away from the next person, which is Seoul, with one game at hand, but Ulsan is behind us with a game below us. So ideally, well, if they catch up by winning the next game, we are nine points away from them. Maybe we're going to win the league. I swear to God, if we win the league with this, this will be insane. So what I'm going to be doing, if there's going to be a game that is like, okay, you're going to win the league if you win this, I'll see you for that one. But yeah, anyways, it has been insane. The squad is insane. If you look, okay, so let's just say up until Cho Hyun Woo, this is the players that we normally play. They have more than five games. A lot of them, let's say Guan Wang Gyu is 30. And look at that. Most of these guys are 18, 18, 18, 17, 18, 18. Very, very good. 20 here. Like, wow. This is a good team. I'm wondering how K-League 2 is. I'm actually curious because is there any surprises there? Because I want to take on, I want to take another team. Oh, Daejeon's doing well. I'm actually probably need to think about what next team I'm going to take because we just went and beat K-League 2. And now we're winning K-League 1. But this has been a little bit of a long video. Hopefully, next time you see me, we have a chance to win the K-League and we don't collapse. Hope you like my tactic. Again, stay tuned for the video. If you like this video, if you like my tactics of Edge Safe, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll be doing more tactics. I'll be doing more stuff like this, I guess. Oh, and this save is beautiful. I'm really happy. We're actually developing youth across the country. I think, well, granted, we started developing youth in Korea. And I wonder if any one of these guys are still there. Probably not. Park Jun. I think he came through when I was there. And that's it. A lot of these guys did not stay. And actually, funny enough, I signed a lot of these guys. So so we are developing. South Korea is getting better. We are going to be in the World Cup in the next three months. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.